Okay, so today uh, this is the first of the unboxings. Uh, we have Might and Magic 3. So I have yet to play this game. Uh, I bought this because it looks cool as fuck. So Might and Magic 3, The Hours of Terror by New World Computing and of course a John Van Canahan production. Look John Van Canahan up on um, Wikipedia. He's actually a cool guy. Okay, so, what have we got? Mighty Magic 3, Isles of Terror, feel the power, experience the magic. Lead a party of hand-picked adventurers to a rendezvous with the legendary wizard Korak. From dark, moldy dungeons through corridors of hewn stone and timber and onward to the lofty frozen peaks of terror, you will uncover the mysteries that, sound, that surround the exotic islands in the Great Sea. Bizarre and intriguing creatures will challenge you along the way and in the many towns and castles that dot your path. Terror awaits you. Prepare to be charmed by its magic and tested by its mighty power. So, you've never seen or heard a game like this before. Oh, and by the way, the music in the background is, of course, from Might and Magic 3. So, adventure, a, squash a, squash, a swashbuckling adventure of heroism and wizardry that will keep you riveted for hours and hours. Simulation. An elaborate world simulation. You'll feel like you're really there. Sites. Thousands of powerfully illustrated inhabitants. Places and things created by the industry's top animators. Sound, stunning music and sound effects and speech. Addictive. Easy to start playing. Instantly absorbing. Easy to start playing. That's a bold claim. I'll uh, see if that's true when I come round to it. Helpful. Uh, automatic help is available to show you the way when you're stuck. Pop-up maps. Screen creatures. Yeah, okay. So, from what I've played of Might Magic 2, uh, this doesn't surprise me. Uh, cause that game was very hard to get into. See the little uh, screen caps? Extraordinary personalities will join you. Against hundreds of imaginative creatures. The dragon? Not sure that's particularly imaginative. As you discover the world of magic in this world of fantasy sights and sounds. Okay, so let's take a look what's inside. So, first up, we have floppy disks. I like, I think these look pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, so apparently they're 720k low density. What are the uh, system requirements? 640k of RAM and hard drive required. Wow. So yeah, so these are for, uh, these are IBM floppy disks. No clue if they work. Don't know if I ever, ever will know if they work. Okay, we've got a map. I'm trying to make sure to accidentally rip it because it's probably fairly old at this stage. Oh, actually, how old is how old is all this? We've got a date. Not there. Fuck it, date will be on screen. Okay. First off, this map is cool as fuck. Uh, I think. A lot of people will be familiar with My Magic 6. Personally, I think the map on that game looked kind of like ass. So what have we got? We've got the Hidden Valley, Enchanted Meadow, Druid Haven. Okay, we've got all the, uh, all the archetypes of, a, of an RPG game. We've got the Frozen Isles. We've got the Mutant. I'm reading through the camera, it's very hard. Mutant Mountains. Nice. we got the Isle of Fire, as you'd expect. Mount Keystone, Land of the Gargoyles. Castle Blood Rain, Castle Greywind, the Isles of Illusion, or Illusion, Illusion probably, um, Buzzard Bluff, the Forsaken Sands, and what's this one over here? The Phantom Peaks, Shadowmire, and something that sounds vaguely familiar, the Ebon Moors. So, a bit hard to get the whole map on camera, but that's what that looks like. Really cool map. At some point, hope to get that framed. So next up we have a passage through the aisles. So this is the journal of Korak the Mysterious. Mysterious. I am Korak, called the Mysterious, and these are my scribblings as I journeyed across the Isles of Terror in search of forgotten lore. I read that as forgotten love the first time. That would have been a slightly different game, I imagine. Take them as aid in the adventure before you, for these isles are not as they seem to be, and behind the shroud of legend, truth is often seen. 
Shroud of Legend? Yeah, okay. I thought I, fucking, I, thought I read that wrong. Okay, so it's 1991. Um, from the corners of the Misty Void rang loud the battle cry. The elemental lords of four had sworn to fight and die. Fire, water, and earth did meet their might and force, and in their battle's bloody mire found our land its source. Is this a poetry book? Maybe it is about love. No, okay, so, yeah, so this is this is his journal. Obviously, you can read through this and, uh, I imagine, glean things about the game. Probably uh, fairly high level. Looks to be just talking about races. We've got half-orcs over there. Nice, okay. So it's got uh, some skills. Cool. So, I mean, this is a really cool way of doing a manual. You don't get shit like this anymore. And that is a shame. So next up, we've probably gone through most of the cool bits. Uh, your computer. Computer game deals, you can't refuse. Okay, so we've just got some marketing stuff. Still give that a quick flash, these things are pretty interesting. Planet's Edge, Might and Magic 3, Might and Magic 1 and 2, King's Bounty, obviously, uh, you know, the first thing that uh, they did in this vein. Anything on the back? No, I like that. That's pretty cool. As far as advertising that comes with your game goes, I can get on board with that. Disc exchange form. Let's get that into focus. Would you prefer this product in another disc format? Oh, that's cool as fuck. Okay, yeah. So the choice is there. And we have a, probably a now defunct address. Certainly now defunct. Okay, next up, looking for clues. Yep, so Quest Busters is full of clues and reviews for all the latest quests. For a free copy, just return this card or send $18.99 today for the next 13 issues and get a special map kit with 30 map sheets designed for mapping lost worlds and insidious mazes. Cool. Like an old school uh, comic book ad. This is paper. That's nice of them. To include a notepad. Yep. Okay, we've got the reference card for IBM and compatibles. So, it's your instru uh, installation instructions. I mean, all of this is just so nice. So much work must have gone into uh, producing what they put in these boxes. This is some high quality material as well. I mean, this came out in 91. Obviously, this is a uh, pristine condition, but it's not that hard for it to stay, stay nice when uh, the materials are so good. Ooh, God. Sorry, sorry for watching that kind of crease made you cringe. It, would, it made me cringe too. Uh, so, Secrets of the Isles, the official clue book. Is that everything? Yes, it is. So, speaking of the official clue book, Last thing, I have that right here. So, this thing has 240 pages of jam-packed with clues dedicated to all poor adventurers who travel forth and brave the dangers that must be confronted on the road to destiny. May the gods walk with you, granting you knowledge and wisdom to, of those most ancient skills, might and magic. So yeah, we have the ultimate guide. And as I said uh, in a previous video, my desire is to use this and um, play through Might Magic 3 and then 4 and 5. So uh, let's look what we got. We got dungeons, caverns, that's uh, specifically uh, different things. Make sure you know the difference between a dungeon and a cavern. Outdoors. Beneath the pyramids. Okay, we're getting into spoilers. Let's have a quick look at a few of the monsters on offer. So we got Major Demons, Major Devils, Manitou Kings, Moo Master. What the fuck is a Moo Master? The Moo Master rules the followers of his cult with a brutal iron hand. His madness is turned full force against all adventurers who oppose his cruel plots of destruction. So, looks like we can see where the Temple of Ba came from. And that is really cool. Octo Beast. Octo Beasts infest the waters around the Isle of Fire. They're quite resistant to the elements and weaken 
those who fight against them. So, I mean, you've got everything you need here. You've got the HP, experience, uh, armor class, attacks, speed, damage, and just some uh, some clues and tips on, on what they'll do and how to fight them. And here we have all the spells. Let's quickly check if uh, we have Wizard Eye. Yes, we do. Shwishwump. Ha oh, ha! Oh. Allows the party to see an overhead view of the com of the surrounding area. Cannot use in combat. Nice. And then we have some weapons. And even quest items. Cool. Clues and hints. Nice. Passwords. The password listed in this section have been encrypted so you can decrypt only the passwords you currently need. In order to decrypt the passwords, type in and run the following basic program. You will then be prompted to enter the encrypted password. The program will then display the decrypted password. That is cool as fuck. So you don't have to worry about flipping through here and getting spoilers. So this is uh, written in C. If you prefer, you may compile the following C program using any standard C compiler. So you could, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not even sure what that's encoded in. Um, no, I don't know. But you could make that now, and uh, it's just a little cipher for the passwords over here. So that could just be something really basic, like um, Caesar's cipher. Who knows? Can we figure it out quickly looking at the uh, C compiler? No. No, we can't. If you can, type it in the comments. And uh, super clues. What the fuck? What's a super clue? At any mirror portal, in order to be transported to a secret room in Dragon Cavern, the room contains a vast and secret hoard of gold. Oh, cool. So that's a bit like uh, in Might and Magic 6, when you go behind the tavern and you teleport to Dragon Sands and get plus 10 to all your stats or whatever it is. Nice. OK, so that is everything that is inside my Magic 3, uh, at least the one I got. Uh, it looks like that's everything. And yeah, that is a nice box. Collector's editions nowadays, far more cynical. You won't get anything like that. Peace out.